everyone, it's Casey here, and the following video is about canine hypothyroidism. Hey Joe, it's nice to finally meet you in person. I've dealt with you on the phone and I usually see your wife with Snowflake. And I understand uh, Casey was telling me when Snowflake uh, first arrived at the hospital when she was taking the history that she's just not been herself. She's been pretty lethargic lately. Yep. How many days would you say or months or weeks this has been going on, just not herself? Uh, I mean, it's it seems like a while now, probably, you know, right. a few weeks anyways. Yeah. Okay, and Casey also told me that you haven't changed her diet and yet she's, I, I noticed, you know, her last weight, she's gone up about eight or nine pounds. So, you know, kids aren't feeding her any table scraps. You haven't changed anything at all. And no. Anything you want to offer no, as far as? No, nothing different and, at home. And uh, your wife was telling me that you guys religiously walk her several times a day. Um, you've got a dog walker that comes in and she's kind of slowing down on the walks as well, right? Yep. But you haven't been able to find any pain, you know, touching her, petting her, no, no pain or anything like that. Well, you know, I'm really glad you brought her in today because um, we have uncovered some changes in her blood work. And I suspect, and I'll, I'm gonna go over these, these uh, couple of reports here, that we've been able to generate in-house while they're doing her nails and now I've got the blood results back right away just before you leave. I'm pretty convinced based on her clinical signs for one thing and also on some of these changes in the lab work that she's probably got hypothyroidism. Um, now, when you look at her total T4, it's low. Okay, now okay. that in itself does not make, that's, that's the thyroid hormone. All people, dogs, cats, we all need a certain level of thyroid hormone that's produced by the thyroid gland in order for our metabolic rate to stay normal, okay? When dogs have too little thyroid hormone, everything starts to slow down. They gain yeah. weight, they are lethargic. Um, sometimes as it progresses, I think you've caught this fairly early, they get some really nasty skin changes, hair loss, things like that, which we're not seeing yet in Snowflake. Um, one of the things that I look for, and you guys are really good about not feeding her last night as we asked you not to when you made the appointment because we knew we were drawing blood, her cholesterol is elevated, which can be a marker of hypothyroidism. Okay. So this is her chemistry panel that we ran on our in-house catalyst. And so we've got our total T4 and our snapshot slow with an increased cholesterol makes it highly suspicious with their clinical signs. Then when we look at her CBC, Okay, this is her complete blood cell counts looking at all her, her cell lines. We can see that she has a non-regenerative mild anemia. That just means her red cells are a little bit low. Okay. okay. And when we say regenerative, it means her bone marrow is not trying to replace them right now. We can tell that because her reticulocyte count is not elevated. So nothing serious, but this goes along with what we expect in a hypothyroid patient. Now, with your permission, I would like to do a little bit of reflex testing to our reference lab to try to confirm the diagnosis here. Um, this, as I said, this total T4 is just not enough, and I'd like to do a test called a free T4 and also a test called a TSH. Now, those results will probably come back tomorrow from our reference lab, and then um, we'll speak a little bit more tomorrow about this, but I have a feeling we're gonna put her on some medication. Now, the good news is this thyroid supplement, she can live a completely normal life. Um, it it requires good. once or twice a day pilling, um, and then we need her to come back in a timely manner. I wanna make sure that these results have corrected themselves, so I'd probably ask you to come back in three to four weeks. Okay. Um, certainly, you know, if you or your wife have any questions, um, I know your wife couldn't make it in today, and I'm gonna pr provide you a printout, and I'm gonna mark this up for you so you can explain some of this stuff. That would be her. helpful. But any questions that you guys have, certainly call Casey or myself, and I'm happy to go over all this with you. This is a very, very common problem in dogs as they get older, okay? We, we tend to screen all dogs over seven years of age anyway for hypothyroidism. And it's, it's, it's one of these really rewarding things to treat. So you're gonna notice what, if the treatment's successful, which I'm sure it will be, her attitude will improve, she'll be much brighter, she'll wanna go on those walks, and hopefully we'll get this weight loss down. Okay. So you clear on all this, any questions at all? No, that's, that sounds like a good plan. Okay, great. Well, thanks for bringing her in and I'm looking forward to seeing her in three to four weeks. Okay, thanks okay. Dr. Lee. Nice seeing you. You too. Oh, <laughs>